I was, I was planning on just starting Caramel, and then I saw these two. Is, is this little fucker in the little storm fucker and this person on a wolf just going back and forth about how wh one of them says it's better to not pay child support and play Wizard 101, the other one's trying to convince them not to. Like, what the fuck even is this? But anyways, boom, we're back. It's... Uh, been like a week and a half. I did the scorpion video. I'm or sorry. I, I did the rat video I'm working on the scorpion video and as you can see I got this lovely pig hat got this son of a bitch to finally drop from nightshade uh, I farmed him like last October, but I never really got it uh, But I, I stitched it with my my dragoon hat. So now I look like a ninja pig is Halloween pretty dope This is like my favorite hat in the game uh, not a fan of the rest of the ninja pig attire. Well, actually, it's mostly just the ninja pig robe. It looks kind of makes me look fat, and I don't want to feel fat in, on a 2008 children's card game or computer game. Anyway, let's start off with caramel. Oh look, it's the hero of Unicorn Way. What? I'm a librarian. I do my research. But seriously, nice job saving us all from cataclysmic doom. That's nice. Do I have this up way too loud? No, maybe. I don't know. You and I really are a lot alike, you know. We're both made to perform tasks we didn't sign up for and never get the credit we deserve. Look, man, I I just I'm here because I pay a ten ninety nine a month monthly subscription to this thing, uh, or seven or seventy eight ninety nine depending on uh, how much the uh, year long uh, thing is. For instance, after the musicology scholar blew up his office, who managed to clean up and did all the paperwork to move him into a new one? Me. Musicology, she's sure. When the, when the fuck did that happen? And when Ioni needs someone to fix her rat problem? Or, or was it a mole problem? Yes, fix her mole problem. Who does she run to? Me. That's right, me. Librarian what? Fitzhume. I've two millennials worth of books to Dewey decimalize, yet Princess Ioni makes me call the exterminator. I feel like... I feel like you could easily just talk this out and it wouldn't be a problem, or you could come to some sort of solution. Maybe hire a, a, another wizarding intern who isn't me to do all this shit for you. Hero of the Arcanum is what they should call me. Oh, well... You should probably go help Ioni before that mole makes too big of a mess. Cool. Oh yeah, by the way, you get free fucking gear. Uh the only thing that are that's good is like the deck, maybe the wand and the boots, but even then if you have dragoon gear, you're pretty much set. Mally robe. Gear doesn't really get too much better uh up until like the end of Lemuria. Ah, wizard, welcome back. What you've heard is true. The Arcanum has a mole. But first, we must attend to the matter of your rank. My rank? I didn't know there's a ranking system here. Besting the primordial powers of creation and saving all life in the spiral goes well beyond the responsibilities of an understudy. Yeah, call me Archmage, bitch. In addition, your work to unite the factious forces of Light and Shadow, as well as the Arcanum and Council of Light, deserves special recognition. I will take all of the gold and all of the pet snacks. Thus, I hereby promote you to Arcanum Liaison and grant you the appropriate uniform. I also wish to personally extend an earnest thank you. Uh, you're not welcome. Fuck you. That's way too much effort to get, like, really shitty beginning of the world gear and a thank you now on to the mole issue following grandfather spider's retirement we've been monitoring cabal communications for attempted retribution what unfortunately we trace many of the communications right back here to the arcanum the musicology department to be precise sounds like he was just listening in on stuff after the medulla headache, we ask that you, the Arcanum Liaison, be the first to confront Scholar Von Trapp. For liability reasons, of course. What? What do you mean for liability reasons? Also, uh, yeah, yeah, I got all- Well, wait, no, I haven't completed the quest, never mind. Um, so yeah, uh, in the guard can't- Wait, hold up. Aren't the Cabal just a sect of rogue wizards who turned away from the principles of the Cabal just so that they can reenact Spider's plan to unite the, the first world. Like, with Spider out of the way, there's no real reason for them to stick around. 
I mean, it's going to take so much effort just to get back to where they were before their primordial benefactor like skipped out on them to go fuck in the forest or whatnot. Was ist das? So render, Kabbalist Mole. Such an odd greeting. Oh, I think I see what is going on here. Come, let us speak. No, never trust a German. The world did that once and it didn't work out. You're evil. I know it. First, with the introductions. I am Malvorf von Trapp, scholar of musicology. A very exciting magical discipline, which we have no time to discuss. So I'm pretty sure Hitler was like of Austrian descent or something or something like that. I, I don't I don't quite remember. But anyway, as you have observed, I am a mole, but not of the sneaky, sneaky, infiltrative variety. No, no. In fact, it is I who uncovered the latest cabal plot. And what was the latest cabal plot? Indeed, Grandfather Spider may be silenced forever, but his former underlings still carry his old shadowy tune. I feel like that's an issue they need to take up with their management because who who's funding this operation for the Cabal now? As we speak, a fiend named the Scarlet Shrimpanel is plotting to retake Chrysalis. Why? He plans to assassinate King Pyat Morningsford and seize the throne. You know this world, yes? Then you must go to Bastion and thwart him. All right. Oh, yeah, and now you all stuff. So, uh, let's look at this. This thing, it just looks all right. It's all right. It's not, not really that good. Uh, this thing, absolute trash. There is no offensive capabilities on this robe. I don't know why King Zile started doing that with robes around this time. These, they're actually not terrible. But then again, I have way better boots, so fuck these boots. Uh, the wand... It's actually not that bad. I only lose one resist. I'd lose my pierce, uh, my stun resistance jewels, and fishing luck and everything. But I mean, offensive wise, if you have nothing better than this, this is a good option. It looks kind of cool too. It's a chrysalis sword. I don't need it though. Uh, a fame, not worth it. Ring, I mean. It's an option, but no, no, thank you. Amulet five myth resist specifically. No, I've got a I've I've got an amulet with five universal resist. That's already way better. Fuck that. And then the deck. What's the uh, what's the socket on there? Grandmaster socket wrench. Uh, this might actually be a good idea, especially have, if you have the Arcanum qu uh, crafting quest. That gives you like two, if not four, uh, Grandmaster socket wrench. Uh, yeah, two Grandmaster socket wrenches, if not four. So it's not a not a bad, uh, not a bad deck choice if you have literally nothing else, or if you're using like a square or tier jewel and you want to upgrade. Halt! No one may enter Chrysalis without. Oh, oh what's up, dude? Binder, it's you. Is this a social visit, or has a new calamity returned you to our world? It is the latter, my friend. It seems like you fucking rats and bugs and shit can't get enough of nothing. Chrysalis, looking foreboding as ever. A shadowy cabal agent named the Scarlet Shrimpinel is here in Bastion, and he stalks our king. No, that's impossible. No, it's not. It's very possible. I've personally verified each and every person that has come through this world door. Unless... There was a conspicuously large delivery of seafood that came through recently. Perhaps those crates were packed with more than just imported fish. They absolutely were. I made note of the delivery's final destination. Follow me. Sounds a little bit different. But then again, it would have been years since they had done anything in Chrysalis, so getting back into character might have been a bit difficult. Um, so yeah. Go into this little tower. It's kind of a cool tower. Do you smell that? It's the stench of evil and shellfish. Once again, old friend, let us go save Chrysalis together. Ti! Eh, I'll let it pass. Uh, what is it? I've been working on a new pet. I'm trying to get this pet right here with all of its talents hatched with this pet. 
just so I can have the smoke screen card. I'm gonna make a fucking accuracy debuffing pet just to fuck with PvE. It probably won't be very good at all, but I'd really like to see how it works out. Ooh, it seems someone has ordered lunch for us. Rebuilding a shadow empire on the ashes of this new chrysalis is hungry work. Let's eat. Didn't you guys just get an order of shellfish, though? I mean, even if it was just a Cabal agent, I feel like... Oh, shit. Uh, let me add those in. Did not have that ready. I feel like they could have, I don't know, had lunch before I got here. Uh, you know, I'm going to go for it and just hope I kill. I'll be honest. I absolutely could have waited the next round to throw out a frog, but I had this in my deck, so let's fucking see how it goes. Hey, nice. So glad that didn't kill me. I've forgotten the thrill of fighting at your side, Spellbinder. Let us press on. Ooh, that's 20% outgoing on a just a regular ass ring. That's not bad. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. If that could get up to like even 30% with power pips and decent stats later on, might be valuable. Uh, this guy is myth, so I got to set up my deck. Yeah, not gonna lie. Well, well, oh shit! Look what the rat dragged in—the divine paradox. Before you, the cabal had purpose, unity, a dream to restore the first world. I'm not even joking. I completely forgot that I was walking straight into dialogue. That one's on me. But now we're fragmented, disjointed, scraping for lost power, and forced to kowtow to one whose ambitions would destroy all that we are. And who is that? Oh, you haven't heard? A new leader has emerged in Spider's wake. An old one, ever watching, ever waiting. He has such plans for you. He will... Will what? Ugh, enough talk, you malodorous monster. To battle! All right, first of all, first off, rude. Second of all, I, I wanted to know what he was going to say. But anyway, uh, what I was about to say was, I'm not going to lie, I need, if I'm, blading in caramel just fucking sucks. Like, it's almost not worth having uh, sharpen enchants just because you've got to worry about getting enfeebled, like, from every storm minion or blade stolen. Like, m minions, like, monsters and all them, they get good. Uh, in in this world this stupid prawn motherfucker used immolate and took away two of my feints so i have to waste more rounds trying to pull another one i don't know why i'm taking a lot of damage just from these guys caramel is hard You know, I don't know if I've soloed any of the worlds. Like, I, I've definitely soloed Caramel, but any world after Caramel, I've just done with Wolf. Just to kind of do it, so I don't know if, how hard the game's going to get from here. I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you meddling divine paradox. How did you even know Ooh. where to find me? That guy drops both of those? That's awesome. I need those reagents for crafting stuff for a life that I may or may not make at some point. Malware. You mean the Cabal's mole in the Arcanum? Figures he'd side with the old one. What? I know he's literally a mole. He's also a spy. I knew it. He's an evil German. We're everywhere. You'll never win. Or you won't win any additional times. The law of averages is on our side. You have to lose eventually. I right, look, I already lost with Azteca technically, so... And Dragon Spire was still destroyed so that one really didn't count um hold up wizard city's pretty good uh yeah yeah so wizard city marley bone actually marley bone's kind of like a 50 50 i didn't really solve the crime hold on let, let's break this down all right there was wizard city that could be considered a success there was uh crocotopia i'd say i was genuinely successful considering we helped defeat the ted army and bring balance to the force or whatnot Marley Bone is kind of an iffy thing. We were just there to, like, you know, pick up the Croconomicon, but we didn't really solve their crime problem, so that's iffy. Mushu, I, again, I don't know that that one counts technically as a win because there were still warlords and battles fighting. We may have 
that helped some of it, but I don't know that we could technically classify that one as an entire victory. Dragon Spire is just straight up fucked. Um, Celestia also fucked. Morganth destroyed that, or well, the Storm Titan destroyed that world like ages ago. There's not nothing we could we could really do other than rescue the survivors, but we couldn't really save that world. Um, we came after. Uh, uh, there was Zafaria. Zafaria. Yeah, I, I feel like we united Zafaria, so that was a win. Uh, Avalon, technically not an entire like a, a flawless victory because even though we brought back the Knights of the Silver Order and thwarted a bunch of baddies, the Wild Hunt is still technically a problem, which is why King Artorius never bothers to side with us or help us in Chrysalis, and we only get his spell. Uh, so I'm not counting that one as an entire victory. Uh, Chrysalis. Chrysalis is a victory. Um, and then... Came after Chrysalis. Polaris is a victory. Uh, Mirage. I'd say Mirage is a victory. And then... Uh, uh, Imperia Part 1. Not Imperia as a whole... I'll be generous and say that one's a victory. So, out of, like, all of the worlds, we've only technically won, like, had close to, if not a flawless victory in one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So, I, I, I'd say the law of averages demands we win a few more. My word, he's a talkative one. He's the palace guard's problem now. Come, wizard, let's step outside. This place reeks. Probably should have had that conversation at the world door rather than in the middle of that dialogue. Oh, I have to walk out the door. That fucking sucks. You know, I could press the pause button, but I'm not going to do that. Boom. As wonderful as it was to fight alongside you again, Spellbinder. Maybe next time we could just share some cheese and a laugh, eh? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'm not. No, nah, I can go either way on cheese. Until then, you must alert your Arcanum compatriots to what the Shrimp Man said about the spy, Malworth. May the light guide you, my friend. Cool. Actually, when, when it comes to Imperia, technically, most of it, most of the chains got destroyed. Well, one of the chains got destroyed. One of them got destroyed and then brought back. And the other was never touched. So, yeah, I, I, f I feel like it's safe to say Imperia as a whole was more of a win than not. Anyway, we're back. Uh, Malworth's the evil German spy. Wizard, you return, finally. I am pleased. What news of the mole situation? Uh, he's evil and German. Scholar von Trapp is spying on the Arcanum and the Cabal. A double double agent. I find this confusing. Uh-huh. When you left for Chrysalis, Malworth went to his musicology studio to prepare a, quote, surprise for you. No doubt a trap. Hold up. If if he's spying on the Cabal for you guys, then he's an agent. If he's spying on the Cabal and you for a third person, that would still make him just one specific agent. He wouldn't be a double-double agent. He wouldn't be going back and forth between you and the Cabal specifically. But you must spring it. Apprehend Malworth and bring him to me. Then he will learn that I, too, can be persuasive. You know, Ioni's the kind of person I wouldn't want to fuck with. Like, she's very socially awkward, but she's ripped as shit. Seriously, she beat the shit out of this fucking mole for sure. Wizard, your pick! Has the Scarlet Shrimpinel been dealt with? Huh, wunderbar. He was just going to get in our way. <laughs> now, for your reward, you must face the Doom Box. And you must face it now! Play! <laughs> That's hilarious. You must face the Doom Box. And you must face it now. That's awesome. I love that dialogue line. I'm going to get rid of one of these protects. Really hoping this man doesn't block me so I can just fucking move on. Let's go. I've seen people struggle with this fight. Do you feel the music Ooh. wizard coursing through you like electricity? If not, we shall have to do this all again. No, are you good? Oh, good. 
This rhythm will syncopate with your inherent magic to create a new spell. A small token of gratitude for dealing with the stinky shrimpernel. That was just rude uncalled for. That man deserves to be called the Scarlet Shrimpernel. What? Me? A cabal spy? Her shrimpy spilled the jelly beans, didn't he? Well then, okay. I confess, I am indeed a mole. Also, the mole. <laughs> I multitask. You multitask. Whew. Feels good to say out loud. But please know, I have only the best of intentions. Come, come, let us march to my office and discuss further. Okay, so maybe he's not an evil German. Nice. Uh, this spell is pretty nifty. Um, I've never... 75%? That's kind of low. Uh, I've never gotten to use this spell, so I'm wondering how effective it's going to be. It also does, like, not a lot of damage, but then again, that confused thing... That better be worth it. I'd be really pissed if that was just, like, a, a bullshit gimmick that doesn't work, you know? Boom, I'm here. But your tongue traitor why let him explain it's not like he's gonna fucking ask to fight a cadaver on your ass he's just he's a mole you see this is our problem always with the fighty words is it not time we move the discussion forward come let us speak of something new dude that's what i'm saying every issue aside from malice there in morgan could have been in their whole shit could have been completely and utterly just fixed with the discussion like there's no need to steal the, the food from the, the infected villagers we can just he help heal the infected villagers and get them to give us our food or whatnot well i say something new first we must discuss something far older than our silly little schism the great old one himself whose relevance will be completely undermined after the next world the Great Old One is just a myth. There is no secret author of history, always watching, always nudging. That is pure cabal propaganda. I feel like it's mostly propaganda, but the, the Old One does technically exist. <laughs> you are quite wrong. The Old One is just reclusive. At least he was until Grandfather Spider went kaput. Now he what? speaks out for change. Grandfather Spider didn't go kaput, he retired. Didn't you listen to, like, the first bit of dialogue we got? The Great Old One has established the Grand Summit, a conference to unite all the Cabal factions under one common goal. Peace with the Arcanum. Mm-hmm. An unlikely story. I only make the scrunchy, suspicious face, but the summit will be hosted in the sweetest world in all the spiral. Caramel, my beloved home. Caramel is famous for its peaceful neutrality. Just thinking of it makes me want to... smile. As our canon liaison, you shall represent us, wizard. And what interest in, am I representing, by the way? Uh, do we do agree? Do we decline? Do we ask for compensation for all of the issues the Cabal has created for us? Like, you gotta, gotta give me something to go off of. What the fuck was that? Ready to fight. Meet me in Caramel City, and I will escort you to my home. Uh, because the summit is at my house, not because it's a trap. Cheese! That is not spelled cheese. Anyway, uh, yeah, for anybody watching this who doesn't know, uh, Caramel is definitely, like, almost 100% based off of, like, Sweden and... Like, all of those neutral territories who up until recently were militarily neutral and didn't really pick sides. So Russia decided to invade Ukraine and scared them all. Now they're all trying to become part of NATO. Welcome, or as we say it, welcome to Caramel City, Wizard. The crown jewel of the Candy Dials. The bustling capital of Caramel. Und, uh, oh, shucks, I forgot the rest of the spiel. Mm, no matter, the Burgermaster has prepared an entire welcoming pageant for you. Come, come. What is a Burgomaster? It almost sounded like you said burger. Welcome to the oh, home what? of Nana's 
savories und schmiles. I don't know about that. This place kind of looks creepy. The magic begins with Nana's patented automated gummy units, which safely gather chocolates, marshmallows, and gumdrops to send to our factories. There, the happy gnomes craft the raw ore into tasty treats, which fairies sprinkle with love and pink fairy dust. The results are oh, delightful. Did the, did the FDA like approve fairy dust to be used in food? I can't imagine shit like that would fly in the in the real world. But well, then again, we used to use whale fat for stuff. <laughs> That's the best part. Best part of caramel right there. Um, did someone update the welcome program without telling me, or did something just go terribly wrong? Something just went terribly wrong. Oh, yeah. You could see the murdery girl on their little goomy faces from here. Wizard, maybe you and I go help those poor zingers, no? Come. All right, that just ended. Um... Before we do that, I want to check out the caramel gear. Fuck, I always, I always do that. I'm not used to the caramel thing, so I, I thought that I could just go backwards. But they've got the entire area like blocked off. Fucking stupid. Anyway, um, recipe vendor. There we are. So we'll go to recipe shop. I want to see what the the gear is like. Now, granted, the gear is not good in caramel compared to other things that you might get throughout the world, like, or throughout the other worlds. Like, Dragoon obviously beats this hat into the fucking dust. There's no, like, even without the set bonus, it's not even that big of an upgrade. Uh, the boots uh, are slightly comparable, but then again, the stat boost just makes those, those boots just worthless. The armor... It's also not good. They focused a lot on, like, defensive, like, robe armors, which is very weird. However, if you are a life wizard, you get a pretty sweet fucking jade robe. That is almost 20% outgoing, 18% resist. Uh, updated, like, 1600 health, good power pit block, and a little bit of stun resist. It doesn't... The, the, the spells are kind of worthless, uh unless you just want this specifically so you don't have to get those two cards but i mean it's it's pretty good rope the ice one um it's just 20 flat resist and you get incoming if the outcoming was switched on all of the robes that that would start to make them more viable for jading type robes but that, that like the life robe and maybe you could maybe argue the ice robe are the two best pieces of gear that you probably craft here the wands have no like no pierce so they're not really worth getting uh they look pretty dope though i, I like the little gumdrop stuff even like the regular wunderbar stuff without all of the glowy stuff is pretty cool the athames that sucks the rings also suck the amulets actually probably worth getting just so you can have a, a one pit protected 40 percent blade that's stackable like that, I kind of want that. So I'm going to buy that recipe just to have that. The decks, uh, nothing's going to really top my dark more deck. So yeah, that that is all I have to say about the caramel gear. Also, I like in caramel how this is just the Wunderbar wand, but used as a light post. And it's very, I like it. I like the fact that they use that there okay yeah, some dialogue up in here there wizard there are the goonies which have gone cuckoo in this clock what are you waiting for uh i was waiting for the dialogue what no this is not a trap trust me you would never see a malwurf trap until it is too late just fight the scary evil gummy bears already I don't know why, when this world first released, I for sure thought this man was evil, but, uh, spoilers, he's not. 
Uh, that gummy automaton thing should not be able to make that noise. See, it growled at you. Go on, fight, fight. Go, go. Yeah, that's all a wizard needs. We need the moral high ground and for the enemy to insult us or threaten us. Alright, so is this a single hit or a multi-hit? It is a single hit. Alright, that's almost completely worthless then. That is, you are you have pips and no, no... You've hit the boss, he didn't die, you have nothing but pips, no buffs, and you just want to, like, fuck with them. That, that's all that spell is going to be worth in my opinion. I don't see the confusion aspect helping out a ton. Unless you're going up against really tanky enemies that, again, you've hit, they didn't die, they're a long way from dying, but you have pips, and you're waiting to, like, buff up. See? Not a trap. Just cuckoo candy inside a clock. Now, let us continue on to see what other contentious confections await us. Uh-huh. Let us see. Oh, I just go through the door. Okay. More angry gummy bears? Very strange. They are not supposed to have any emotions on account of them being lifeless automatons. Like Ioni. <laughs> Fucking got him. Ioni roasted. She's never recovering from something like that. I make the jest, and you do not laugh. Hmm. Oh, do not be so frowny, wizard. They're just gummy bears. How much damage could they do to you? They've taken away at least 1,500 points of my health. I'm dying. I just realized I either fucked up the recording or I forgot to pause. Either way, I'll try and cut that out if I forgot to pause. Uh, back in the day, the... Like, all of the world so far have had quests where you actually have to do something to get into the world. They're like little promo things, right? I am remembering now and, that uh, there was a new model of gummy bears they were rolling out around the time I left for the Arcanum. What was it called? Oh, yeah! The Uber Bear! Built to haul up to 6,000 chocograms! <laughs> I'd hate to tussle with one of those, yeah? Anyway, one more floor to go! The the foreshadowing is not lost on me. What the fuck? There wasn't a door there. Ah, an Uber bear! Who could have seen that coming? I could have, just from the dialogue alone. Oh help! Help! The gummies! They are no longer sweet! Now they make some mean snarls and swat at us with their paws! They've gone sour! Wait a minute. Did they animate your mouth to move when you were singing? Sour gummies? That is ridiculous. Nana only makes the sweet things. These singers are delusional with panic, wizard. Help them. Help them. All right. Anyway, like I was going to say earlier, uh, all of the worlds, whenever they're first released, they have these like, uh, what do you call them? Like little promotional quests where you can get some exclusive gear that you might not that obviously you cannot get in the future and uh you know it, it's just pretty cool it introduces you to the world and shit like that and for caramel you could get a costume of nana like the whole shtick was we've saved the spiral but now we're kind of you know growing up and the whole idea is you would uh you you'd go into caramel but you would be pursuing a part-time job with nana's chocolate factory unintentionally i think you were just like running sweets or care like some sort of candy to lydia guerreros and that just it, you just kind of that becomes like a, a part-time job for you even though you only do one quest but it's very much like canonically our wizard has uh has started working at nana's company and then we go through the entire world and overthrow her corporation. But anyway, we're not supposed to know that yet. Oh, thank you, heroic customer. I will be sure to tell my manager of your great deeds. <laughs> cool, does that give me like a fucking discount or something? How strange. The gummies are meticulously designed worker drones, invented to do the grunty labor work, and maybe the occasional song and dance. They quite literally do not have a mean bone in their bodies. Yet, these formerly sweet gummy bears have clearly gone sour. But how? 
Ooh, the mystery of the entire world. Eh, I am sure someone will figure it out. Let us tell the Burgermaster what we saw here. Then we must scoot to the Grand Summit. Schnell! All right. Oh, so this is what Burgomaster means. The mayor of a Dutch, Flemish, German, Austrian, or Swiss town. Okay, so he's just the mayor. Odd. Ah, oh, shit. You know what I just realized? I leveled up. I need to lock my levels. Anyway, we beat the gummies. Sour gummy bears? Who has ever heard of such a thing? Not me. We are, after all, known for our sweets, not our sours. Sours are candies, too. But worry not, Nana has already gone on to investigate just how this has happened. And she doesn't care because it will get in the way of her profits, but we are not supposed to know that yet. She will ensure no valued customer goes without the welcoming pageants again. Now, I must ask, how would you rate the caramel experience so far? Two stars. Five stars? Wunderbar! Go forth, gentle consumer. Explore Caramel City. Visit Nana's old-fashioned shops. Partake of Caramel's delights. When you are done looking around, wizard, meet me by the Von Trepp family gondola to go to the summit. Ooh, we could go up to a gondola. Nifty. Oh, hey, that's right. There's a Z quest. Did I do the Z quest in the last world? I honestly have no idea. Got two extra training points, though. You collect all the peanut butter cups you come across. It shouldn't take long. I'm sure you'll be done in a jiff. <laughs> I'm so Thank glad you, that I can skip through somebody's dialogue except the quest. And then half the time it may or may not spout the dialogue after I've gone through it. Like, Zeke didn't say nothing when I fucking skipped his and accepted. Anyway, uh, yeah, so you get another Zeke and Eloise quest. Lemon heads and peanut butter cups. Nifty. That's two extra training points I don't know what to do with. Once I get them. Uh, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool area. Nice scenery. They did a very good job on the scenery of this. I like it how we're not in the middle of some fucking overgrown, bullshit, dark and dreary, raining ass uh, jungle. We're in the nice Swiss Alps or something, and it just looks good. Are you ready to go to my estate? Well, yeah, my family's estate. The Von Trepps are the big deals in Caramel, after all. The big deals. You know, this man is fucking hip and with the times when he talks like that. Ever since we first discovered the dark chocolate veins in the mines of Nibelheim, we have been rich and beloved by all, I presume. I presume. I have no fucking clue. We have created a monopoly on one of the only items like created in this world which is chocolate due to the the chocolate veins in the nipple high mines we assume people like us <sighs> yeah i want to take you to the von trepp estate to meet the cabal no it is not a trap now after you i didn't ask if it was a trap i completely trust you i am ignorant and willing to go along with this whole bullshit scheme of whatever's going on uh that's not where the arrow was pointing. Ooh, a sleigh. Nifty. Let me see. It's a big house. Oh, it's, it's a house. I wouldn't call that an estate. It's like a... Uh, it's just a house. Achtung! Uh, what? Uh, uh, oh, you... What? Oof. That means pay attention, guard, who is daydreaming instead of guarding the super important summit of cabal dignitaries. Oh, um, I was, uh, <laughs> sorry, Mr. Lord Von Trapp. It's just so peaceful and serene up here. Everyone has been patiently awaiting your arrival. Why? <sighs> Guards these days, am I right? <laughs> I better go make sure nothing else has been as poorly managed as the guard situation. The summit begins shortly. People in charge are always so rude when, like, their underlings fuck up just minorly. In the meantime, maybe you go do the mingle thing with the other cabalists in the lodge. Exchange pleasantries. Or don't. Up to you. You want me to walk into your family's fucking house filled with all of my possibly past, if not current and future enemies? while you go 
dick around in the snow. All right. It's a bad idea. I like the, I like the green color scheme. Also, why is this sound? This is a graduation theme, isn't it? Hey, we got the, the Quizzler. We got a whole bunch of people we're not supposed to know. There's a shrimp dude. That's pretty dope. A lot of Cabal agents. I like their wands. What is that? I'm so glad King Zao created this, this camera system that's barely fucking functional so I can barely have an idea of what I'm looking at. Uh, anyway... Let me just walk up here. Oh, what the fuck? Well, I'm a girl, a monkey's uncle. The wizard in the feathers. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Though, this ain't how I reckoned it happened. Uh-huh. Expected more threats and quakes. But the old one's voice could still an army. Calm me down. You'll see soon enough. His way is the only way. Sounds very ominous and foreboding. Uh, can I talk to the Quizzler? Oh, that's fucking bullshit. What about Judge Veg? Guilty. No, your case is pending. Per edict of the old one, whose will is older than any law. Except for the, the laws of, like, gravity. And, like, the laws of the universe that not even Grandmother Raven Spider or Bartleby predate. Cleaning the laws of good taste. Why else meet in a world of empty carbs and sugar? If I had my way, this whole place would face severe judgment. Huh? And what would you judge it? Uh, who else is there? Can I talk to the shrimp dude? I want to do that before I get pulled into dialogue. We are doom, but not your doom. The old one specifically requested you not be duped. And later on, you will completely disregard that in favor of dooming me. Thank you. And we would not go against he whose tentacles shaped history. But perhaps you will learn doom is preferable to his will. Find us if you do. Um, sure, whatever. Can, can I... Hey, guys, gonna pull me into a dialogue. Just watch. At last no! Joined by the <laughs> I wanted to talk the to this man. Paradox, the scion of Bartleby. The constant pain in my neck. Welcome to the end. God damn you, old one. I wanted to talk to the shrimp, or the, the prawn, dude. Of this foolish old conflict with the Arcanum, that is. And our mist is not easily won. For what schemer is wont to abandon their machinations? Enough with the old timey talk. Just tell me what you want. And yet, when I approached you, Mr. Quake Charmer, you put aside your plan to, as you so eruditely phrased it, earthquake cool ranch to dust. Hold up. Uh, definition. Eruditely. Uh, erudite. Having or showing great knowledge or learning. Okay, so he's just very knowledgeable in quakes. Wow, thank you for that. And you, my dear copycat, you thought to clone yourself to infiltrate and divide every great house in Mirage, but refocused instead on unity. When? Uh, also, why would you go and disregard all of my hard work? I, that's one of the worlds I technically saved. Then there's Judge Veg, who aimed to destroy this world of caramel because of its sugary appetites. But I have persuaded him toward leniency. How much did you pay him? What about the Quizzler? The Quizzler's back there, and there's a prawn. You all saw the truth that the Cabal has lost its way. Once a coalition to rebuild the first world, we've become factious, diabolical, defeated. You guys were always factious. We should, nay, must change to survive. It's time we grow up. It's time to rejoin the Arcanum, to preserve what is, not restore what was. Oh, that's an interesting vision. Also, I, I this definitely just a ploy for him to get back to the Arcanum so he can get back to his uh, world synthesizer machine. But anyway. Wizard, will you help me usher in a new paradigm, a new alliance, a new age? Will you take the stage and my tentacular hand in peace? No, absolutely not. Fuck you. Fuck the spiral. Everything is going to burn. Please let me. No, it won't let me talk to him. Can I still talk to these guys? I can't. 
Wow, they're really gonna put a fucking Quizzler in there. Not even barely mention it. Didn't even mention him. Don't even let us talk to him. And then there's this dude. Uh, you know, random generic Cabal Prawn that I really wanted to talk to. Let this moment mark a. Oh shit. He's gone. What? What just happened? Fuck you mean what just happened? You saw him fall through the floor like I did. Ah, the great old one done got it up like barbecue. But who would do that? I reckon I'm pecking in your direction, Judge. Why would you hey, guys what? You accuse me? He fell into a giant hole. A cowardly attack. The unmistakable MO of chickens with earthquake powers. I didn't skip that last piece of dialogue. Everyone, everyone relax. It's clear this was a trap set by one who hates the Cabal and fights us at every turn. The wizard! I don't technically hate you guys. I've just been forced to be the good guy multiple times. Makes sense to me. Destroy the wizard! Oh, Schwitz, the cattle! They're not listening to the reason! We must make the escape that is hasty! This way, wizard! Quick, quick! I'm not gonna lie, the first time I played through that, at no point did I suspect Malworth of being behind that even though he's conveniently gone whenever uh the four does the thing don't worry i know you did not set the trap for the old one i mean you didn't right <laughs> of course not but who did and why well something older than the old one which is the nothing who lives in a parallel universe and is trying to breach into our world but we're not supposed to know that yet I suppose we will have to worry about it later. We must beat the fleet retreat before the Alta Kabbalists catch us. Alright, where to... Ooh, I didn't know reagents spawned up here. Ooh, pretzel stick. Do any more spawn up here? Uh, yeah, so every... Oh, Lemonhead. Nice. Wasn't planning on that. Uh, but yeah, every world's got its own little... After, uh... Actually... After Chrysalis, no, no, because there's Polaris, not no real crafting in Polaris Mirage. Yeah, from Mirage and on. Ooh, this might be like one of the best places to get pretzel sticks. This is a very small area. Every, every world has their own like little crafting things. Like if I want to craft that amulet, uh, this thing, I had to get thirty of these and eight of these caramel chunks. Caramel chunks are hard to come by, but. I also need like three Baba Yaga treasure cards, but uh, these little things are super easy to get. I don't know if I can transmute them, but uh, yeah, that's probably the only thing I'm going to craft in Caramel. I might craft the life robe, but even then, that, there's no reason to do that immediately. There is a mining camp halfway down the mountain. We can regroup there, but I am the sneaker, not the fighter. <laughs> Yeah, so sure. I need your help to get through the temperamental candid rams that live in these peaks. Battle them while I tiptoe past, yeah? So we can all just walk around. No need for me to go fight these things. They're storm and only storm? Question mark? I could have swore these things were dual school, but maybe it's just like the next enemies. Uh, Let's see. You know, I don't think I'll have that hard of a time collecting caramel reagents. It's like every other world that you get past, people don't farm reagents in the previous... Like, they might go, you know, one world behind or whatnot with uh, uh, collecting reagents, but nobody's... I, I highly doubt anybody's going to, like, collect caramel reagents. It's like four worlds behind. Almost four worlds. There's caramel, Lemuria, Novus, and then... Uh, Wallaroo coming out. So yeah, it's uh, the fourth fourth world behind the most upcoming and recent world that's about to drop. <sighs> How many more loads are there to sort? My eyes, they are getting bleary. Shh, people. Welcome, valued customer and wealthy patron to Nana's Old Fashioned Nougat Mine. Allow us to sing the Jerry Work song. Please as don't. much as I enjoy the music, uh, with or without the ology, our time she's short. But we could use the passage back to Caramel City. Oh, we would help. But the Gumi Worms, who do our mining, they went a little bonkers, yeah? And destroyed the transports. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. 
But he's good, he's great. It gives us more time to sort through all the nougat ore. So, so much time. <laughs> more gummies going sour? I will not stand the chance against them. Once again, wizard, you must distract the gummy worms so I can get to Caramel City. We could just port to Caramel City with the commons button. There's no, there's no rush. Oh, hey, I need these. Oh, no, after fight dialogue. All right. Let's go. Sour, murderous gummy things? Giant cavities opening up for no reason? This is not my caramel. We are sweet. We are happy. Hashtag make caramel great again. Our heels are alive with the sound of musicology, wizard. Or they were, until sour gummies stopped the cheery work songs. Something is happening here. Someone is playing the long, elaborate game. Perhaps the same person who removed the old one caused the sour gummies. No, they're completely un... Yeah, they're completely unrelated. If so... Then they have designs on the Cabal and Caramel alike. Quick Charmer, George Wedge, and Copycat are equally likely culprits. I mean, the Quizzler was in the background, didn't say jack shit. There are at least like three or four Cabal, like just minor Cabal agents, and then one Prawn dude. I think the Prawn dude should have been the villain. He was in the background too. I will follow leads into my compatriots. You look into the gummies. Start with the Burgomaster. I smell the fear on him. He knows something. I assume Burgo means city, and then master obviously is master, so city master. Or, uh, you know, kind of like how it said earlier, uh, the, the uh, mayor. Yeah. I have no way to back that up because I'm not going to look it up again. Oh, hello, valued customer. How would you rate your experience at Caramel so far? Two star. Actually, one star. Actually, half a star. Oh, well, that is an absurdly low number of stars. What was it? Our service, product quality, getting attacked by sour gummies. We replaced those. I don't know that you replaced the sour gummies, but also the fact that you've allowed issues to happen on your world is completely unacceptable. I need to speak to the manager. There are more on the mountains, but, but <clears throat> Nana guarantees her old fashioned gummies are 100% pure artisanal sweetness. And all right, so then how do you plan to uphold that guarantee? Well, if this is true, you must inform Nana at once. Quickly to Nana's old fashioned caramel corporate headquarters with you. Old fashioned caramel corporate headquarters. So glad that that's a thing. Well, hello there, sweetie. What can Nana do for you? Would you like to hear the history of Caramel Delights? Or a VIP pet snack club? Or perhaps... Honestly, I don't really think there's a lot to talk about with Caramel. I don't even know if there's a history of Caramel book set. Uh, there might be. I'd have to look for it, though. Of course. Nana remembers you. She remembers all her valued customers. You are ever so sweet and valuable. Now, what can I do for you? Oh, yeah. You're not the same, Nana. Oh, my. Sour gummies. Well, that is what happens when you go with one of those older brands. They do not have that extra touch of sweet. No, it was your, it was your candy. Nana Brent, you say? Oh, oh, my. Well, you uh, should talk to my president in charge of handling such things. Wow. Excuse me, valued customer. Do you have an appointment? I realize your concerns are important. They are important to us. Please hold. Uh, yes. Nana specifically allowed me to make an appointment with your president. I'm going to say that's canon. Thank you for holding. I will inform the presidents what? you are here. Please wait in the lobby for her to buzz you in and have a delightful day. What the fuck was that? I just got kicked out of the dialogue. Oh no, 
lost, Fiti. You could not get in. Hmm, that news of yours did sound important. So let Nana tell you a little secret. There is another door over there. Customers are not normally allowed through. But you can get in with a special Nana key. Unfortunately, dearie, Nana lost hers somewhere in the city, and our wunderbar metropolis is just so big, she cannot hope to find it. Uh huh. But if you have a pet, maybe it can sniff out Nana's key. If not, there is a pet store in town where you can get a pet to help you. Oh, nifty. Oh yeah, it's where they started adding the, uh, the pet stuff and the photomancy stuff, so there's gonna be at least one pet thing and some photomancy stuff in this fucking world. So yeah, obviously, we go into Caramel City, and we go into pet mode. However, I'm not a brain-dead moron, and I, at the very least, sort of remember where this should be. It should be, like, right here, or on that bench. Or maybe it's the one by the baboon, let's see. Just do this, go into, go into pet mode. Oh, hey, look at that. Trail of the little fucking rose smell petals or whatnot. I don't even know if those are rose petals. I can barely see them. Hey, look, a key. Boom. That is one of the only times any casual player should ever utilize the pet function. It's kind of sad that they don't use these more often. And it takes you off your fucking mount. God damn it. That's so annoying. Also, I love the fact that she's standing out here because she doesn't have her key and we had to go find it for her. Fuck you, secretary, even though you're just doing your job. <clears throat> Sweetie. <clears throat> Sweetie. No, 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 no. Sweetie. <gasps> Welcome to Caramel, the spiral's foremost purveyor of treats and... Oh, no, that's not it. Why don't you have your script in front of you? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, not. That's pretty good. Nana, 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 I am nana, be nana. Hamsters, cookies, candies, okay, okay. Old, sweet, creaky nana. Hi, Miss Sweetsmeyer. <clears throat> Hi, President Sweetsmeyer. My name is Gertie. Oh, I mean, my name is Nana. You gonna buy the candy or not? Damn. <laughs> She's making the fucking sales right there. Let me see if I can explain this, sweeties. You are not playing Nana the person. Forget about Nana the person. Nana is not a person. She is an ideal. You are playing what Nana represents. A company devoted to homespun country candy cooking to smiling children we are joy in truffle form i have no doubt that this is absolutely a knock on like how corporations like train their mascots and shit but more specifically with ronald mcdonald for anybody who doesn't know like back in the early 2000s like ronald mcdonald was seen to be this actual like person like they would have mascots of him and the whole thing with uh ronald mcdonald is you couldn't like they couldn't they had to act you know they had to be this idea of happiness and joy and whatnot whatever mcdonald's tries to represent even though they're just a fast food company who's interested in making profits off of unhealthy foods anyway this i remember this story this one guy who's playing you know who was uh mascotting as uh ronald mcdonald he got arrested for something and when required like it was required by law that he you know in that state that he provide his identification or uh identify himself under state law or something like that uh just given the state he was in he refused because i guess in mcdonald's like contract with him he can't he was legally required to not identify himself which does not trump state law i'm pretty sure and i would imagine they would have had to have, he would have had to have paid a fine for that or something but probably would have been taken care of on mcdonald's dime because you know they they were he was contractually obligated to not do something on his end it's very weird how companies do random shit like this like nobody fucking cares you are company ambassadors hearts need to zing with delight when they see you yeah and see, there is a valued customer whose heart is not singing. You must keep practicing. 
sorry, sweetie. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, sour gummies. These are just trainy nanas. Never mind them. If you have urgent business for the president, then follow me. Uh huh. Oh shit, she's got she she's bringing the staff out. So I'm about to get my fucking noggin whacked. Oh, I just okay. President Dagmar von Sweetsmeyer, at your service. But you may call me Nana, the grandest Nana you will ever find. Now, what seems to be the problem, huh? We, we fight her later on. I just realized this. She is Grand Nana. Zawa gummies? Uh, yes, I am afraid dear old Nana knows about them. But, worry not, her sweet sciences have already found the cause. Uh... Have you? Vitches. They started popping up after we launched our happiness initiative several years ago. The goal was to spread delight to the spiral. Ma'am, you are a company that sells, like, chocolates and sweets. Like, chill the fuck out. Nobody cares. Specifically, caramel delights. But it seems the witches just hate joy. So they speak the cursed words that break the unhappiness to Caramel. For anybody who's confused, this is not true. Even now, Sweetsburg und its gummy plant is in their sway. It must be the source of the sour gummies. If only we had some champion to rout them. It's too bad I'm not the champion. You are the scion of Bartleby? Wunderbar. Then you can go to Sweetsburg in the gumdrop forest, dispel the witch's curse, and stop those sour gummies. Why did I get roped into this? But yeah, it's Caramel in the first episode. I, uh, I like Caramel as a world, actually. Like, originally, I didn't really like it, but it's kind of grown on me over the years. Like, I like a lot of the battle mechanics and the fights, and the scenery is just really cool. Like... This is awesome. I don't like the Caramel Bundle House because it's way too spacious. But this city of Caramel, like everything that goes on here, the storyline's pretty okay. Uh, I don't think it's stellar, but I think it's a good starting point at the very least. And it's very intricate. But yeah, I, I'm going to end over here. I also like how the loading screen is just an advertisement for Nana's Chocolates. Oh, that's not an advertisement for Nana's Chocolates. Hold up. There we go. Boom. But yeah, that that's about it. I'm going to leave Mark here, go do something else, and stream later. Enjoy. No, I keep fizzling.